Hi. Um, you guys are here a little early for the party, but uh, you know what? Actually, come on in anyway. There's actually something I wanted to share with you guys. Come on in. Make yourself at home. Go ahead and grab a seat. All right, so Lindsay is downstairs setting up for the party tonight, and I wanted to take this opportunity to tell you guys about the next chapter of my professional career. No, I'm not giving up my day job. I'm not quitting illustration or teaching or anything like that. Today I turn 40 and I wanted to reveal a project I've been working on slowly for the last 20 years. It's a science fiction project that started off as a comic book and then in the same universe kind of went to another comic book and another one. Some of these have been published, some of these haven't. Then later I kind of turned it into a screenplay which was then going to become a movie, all these different incarnations over the last 20 years. It's all kind of come to this moment. In addition to that, this project has been very influenced by Eastern mythology, Hindu culture, and Indonesian art. Actually, if you take a look around my entire house, you'll see a lot of art, statues, uh, even toys, and there's even a lot of paintings that I've done that kind of reflect these Eastern and Hindu motifs, which almost seem otherworldly to us. Westerners over here. I've always really been fascinated by the lifestyle and just I think the art is so beautiful. So, 10 years ago I produced my first independent feature, Conjure, which was a straight to DVD production. Since then I've produced over three dozen short films, videos. Obviously a lot of you have probably seen my How to Draw Star Wars series. There's also documentaries I've been hired to produce for DC Comics, the President of the United States, and there's even a feature length documentary for my world travels from a few years back called Illustration Nation. During this whole time I've been putting together my ideas for a huge movie. I've been writing, I've been jotting down notes on scraps of paper and sketchbooks, I've been scribbling out doodles, I've been drawing character designs, I've been doing full production paintings, concept art, and so. I am very excited and very happy to announce I am writing and directing a sci-fi action film called Aladdin 3477. Yes, this is based on the Arabian Nights tale Aladdin and his magic lamp, but this is nothing like Disney's Aladdin. There's no singing, there's no dancing. This live action version of Aladdin takes place 1500 years into the future. The story begins a lot more like the original Aladdin tale, which is a lot darker in tone, but then it goes off into crazy directions. There's twists and turns unlike any Aladdin you've ever seen. So I hope you guys join me. We're gonna have video production diaries every step of the way. Already in uh, a couple months, we're going to China. We're scouting locations in Thailand, India, all over the world. It's gonna be great and I want you guys to come with me, right? This project, obviously very important to me, it's gonna take the next three to five years of my life putting this together. What you guys can do right now is you can check out the official site, which is Aladdin3477. Here it is right here. And you guys can see all the fun stuff that already we have going on. I'm so excited about this and I appreciate everyone's support. In fact, thank you. Today's my birthday and so obviously you guys have blown up my Facebook with all the birthday wishes and stuff. It means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much. And I can't wait to take you guys to the other side of the world, 1,500 years into the future. Um, I'm real excited, and I just want to say thank you. Much love. All right, uh, so I've got a party tonight, and uh, let's go have some fun. 